Recently, I uploaded a video about how to create a text in Geometry Notes. Today, you're going to learn how to convert the output of a note, a value, to a text so we can see it in the screen. Let me delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Notes, close this, close this panel, create a new profile, and we are going to delete this, press Shift A, and remember to use a string to curves and connect it here. Now we cannot see anything because we need to write something here. Remember, a string is the word to say text when we work with geometry nodes. So whatever you put here, we can see. If you want to add some polygons to the text, so it's not simple curve, you need to add fill curve. Let me put this view. And remember, to center the text, go here and select center. If you want to learn how to make it 3D, I recommend you to see the other tutorial how to create a text in Geometry Notes. Okay, this is a string. So we can write whatever we want here, letters, numbers. But what if I want to control this text with a value? So for this, we have this node called value to a string. And as the name say, this convert a value, this value, to a string. So this can represent it in the screen. So if we click here, and increase, you can see how the numbers are changing, the values. So we can create this animation like a counter. For example, I put zero, I insert a keyframe, open this, and I go forward, and I add 100, and select, and I create another keyframe. And now we have this animation. Let me just click here so we have it more clean. And actually, let me change the font. I'm going to add Arial Black because I like it more. So if we come back here, we have this counter from 0 to 100. So it's really easy to create a counter with this node. Or you can do it in the other direction. OK, cool. Let's clear the keyframes. What more we can do? What you can do, for example, is to get the output of a node and convert it to a string so we can see it here. For example, a scene time. This node is to see how many seconds and frame are running when we press play. So we can click here, get the output of the seconds, and convert it to a string so we can see it here. So now, if we go to begin and press spacebar, we can see in real time how many seconds are running. Or, for example, you can get the frames. And now, here it says 122. So we can see 122. If I go to the beginning, you will see whenever I stop, is the same number. So basically, we are getting this value and we are converting to a string so we can show it to the screen. OK, that's really cool. Now let me show you how to join different strings. Because maybe you have two values. Let me duplicate this. And you want to show these two values at the same time. How we can join these values? Because if we do like that, it only allows us to connect one string. So to connect different strings, we have join strings, as the name says. So you have to connect it here in strings. For example, I connect this here and this one below. What's the difference? OK, first let me connect this here. So let me add here one. And here, two. Now they are together. So here, what is this? This is like to add a character to separate these strings. For example, if you add x and press control, now we have this value with this separation with the other value. If you want this one before, then you have to add it before. So the order is really important. If you want to add some space, what you can do is to click here and press spacebar after and before. And if we click here, remember, we can change these values. So now we are joining two different strings, two different values. OK, let's make a simple math operation so we can update different values and see the result, all with strings. So to do that, let me use an as input, an integer, because it's a simple value, we don't have decimals, so it's easier to click here. And let me duplicate this and add it here. Okay, 
but how we can make an operation? Well, we need a math operation. So let me add math node. And we are going to multiply these two values. So let's select multiply. And let's get these values. So another wire. This is the first one. Multiply it by this one. Let me add, for example, two and four. Okay, we have the operation. And now we need another value to string. So we have the result. So let me duplicate this. Connect it here, and now if we add it here, it's using the same separation. So we don't want that. To make it easier, just duplicate this. Let me add some order here. And now we have to actually add this here, this here, because this is like a single block, and this here. And we need to change this. So we are going to add equal. So now with this setup, we have a real-time math operation. So 3 plus 4 equal 12. So whatever we change here, it's being updated. Because we are getting these output values and convert it to text so we can see it in the screen. And to show you another example, I'm going to delete this and move it here. And I'm going to create, for example, a mesh line. And let's add join geometry here. Let's join these geometries. Let me click here so I can see where is the line. OK, perfect. Let me add 0. And for example, I want in the x axis. So this axis, for example, one meter. Now I have this text and this line. And I want to add some instance. So instance on points. And we're going to use cubes. Let's make them smaller. OK, so for example, I want to see the number of cubes that we change here. So what we can do is to add another integer. And we can use this to convert it value to a string. And add it here. So now we have the number of the cubes. However, we cannot see it. First, let's make it bigger, clicking here. And if you want to move it, just add after this a set position. So we can offset, for example, in this axis. Something like that, for example. Maybe not so big. So with this setup, this is a simple line with instance. And this setup is the same to convert this value to a text. Now when I click here, we can see the real-time number of instants. So we are updating two different values, the number of instants and the text. So this is another example how to get the output and convert it to a string to see it in the screen. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.